our understanding of ADHD has evolved, right? You know, when I did my training, it was mostly hyperactive boys with behavior problems, right? right? If you were a high achieving professional, intelligent, there were doctors who literally said, if you have a university education, you cannot have ADHD because the DSM criteria would say you have to be functioning, you know, sort of have impairment in your functioning. And people would define that as compared to the common individual. So as soon as you've graduated university, you are functioning higher than the common individual. So you don't have ADHD. But of course, the real definition is, are you impaired compared to what you're capable of, right? So yes, I may have been getting high marks, but in many areas of my life, I was functioning below my abilities and it was affecting me, right? So um, anyway... Yeah. So yeah. I kind of worked through that, got clear in myself and then decided, you know what? I, I have no reason to be ashamed. I hmm. am different. I think differently. We, it, we all go through this. We're all human. We all put our pant legs on one at a time sort of thing, or our socks one at a time. Anyway, I guess you can put your pants on all at once, but <laughs> you know what I mean? In any case, um, you know, so I decided I'd rather share with people the journey I've gone through. Um, and you know, I love working with people with ADHD. Number one, my people, right? We get along. Number two, if I were in like banking or finance, when I like, if I'm doing an important meeting, if I lose my train of thought or I get distracted by something or I impulsively crack a joke, which I probably shouldn't, in like finance or banking, they'd be like, all right, Handelman's smart, but I don't know about this guy, right? But when I'm working with ADHD people, they just feel so much more comfortable and they're thrilled that here's a doctor who gets them and I'm human too and I've got ADHD too and it all works, right? So mm. kind of makes the day go by so much easier. 